to my Total War Room 2 gameplay. This campaign is going on very nicely. Um, last we left off, we finished and crushed the majority of our enemies here in the Gallic Confederation, which was nice. Um, it's annoying that Bagacum is, is, uh, was taken by the Nervii, but there's not much we can do about that. The Sequani, are they one of our bitches? Because if they are, I want to get rid of them and take that place for myself. They are, okay. Um, the guards will have me listen to you. But do not pass the day that will make me cancelling a treaty that is not in your... Hmm. hmm. We'll leave them for now. But they're not being very helpful, and I want that settlement to myself, so I'll crush it at some point. Oh dear. Do we have any armies close enough to deal with that threat? I don't think we do. Are we at war with the Red TI? I don't think we are. Oh dear. They're probably going to be able to conquer that city next turn. That's incredibly frustrating. Um, who are we at war with at the moment? We are at war with, wow, Slaves, Aria, Gallic Confederation, and Lugii. Well, I don't know where any of them are. <laughs> oh, Lugii is all the way up there. Okay. Okay, Rit Ritii. Hey, buddy. We will speak together of whatever you wish, but bring words that can warm us. Mm hmm. Alright, we're going to be a bit more aggressive. We've been giving money and trying to be very, very uh, high in diplomacy. Now it's just time for conquering. Um, we've got quite a few armies here ready to move. So let's go ahead and start moving them. Cenobum is going to be the next, then Namnitum, then Lemonum, and that's pretty much their back broken. That's that's them done. Where did the Iceni army go? I think it probably went back over to Britain. Yeah, not much more to do. Magna Grecia is still really pissed. What can we do to fix that? Can we change this over to be a gladiatorial place? But it's just giving us food, it's giving us food, and we need food. It, this is worrying. Um, I think we may actually, I think we've got a food problem again, because I think I saw our food going, taking a bit of a dip there. So we'll have to take a look at the numbers next time. I wish there was a way of seeing if you're making enough food or not without having to watch the numbers. It's weird the balance of power around we this scene. No, I... <laughs> no! They're my client state. <laughs> Defensive alliance for a thousand. You're at war with everyone. Why would I do this? If you became a client state, shall we? I'll just tell you what, Defensive alliance, no. Make client state, where's that? Where's the client state? Um, military alliance. How do you how do you get make them a client state? Um, defensive alliance. are they like a client state of someone? No, then why can't I make them my client state? Okay, no. Maybe I have to talk to them, not the other way around. <laughs> Sorry, I have a cold and it's a pain. It's horrible. Oh, I've got a cold. Political intrigue. An assassination attempt. He's wounded them, but he's not he's not killed them. That's annoying. 15. Oh, that. Oh, wait. Raiding fleets. That's crap. Sensible. I thought that was just 15% buff to morale. Full stop. Yes, our food is dipping down. We need to do something about that ASAP. Um, so we're going to have to build a building over here, I think, to do with food. I guess it will have to be this one. There's no other buildings we can build here to do with food, so we'll get the meat building. Here, uh, this army is full. Let's go ahead and... I mean, that one's still recovering. Yeah, go on, let's do it. Bring you down to here. Bring you down to here. 
get the ally, get the the army behind us to join in. Oh, really? Okay. Can we sabotage? Poison wells, fantastic. Do it. Yeah. So. Increase in rank. Oh, of course they increase in rank. She's a legend. Right. Success all actions. That'd be cool if we could upgrade that. But never mind. Um. Poison. I want the poison one. Is there anything to do with poison? Uh, no. I guess this would probably be the best one. I guess. Uh, we should probably keep an army in here. Now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so let's leave you here. Uh, can we recruit any units? No, we can't. So they shouldn't be too pissed. We'll wait until those buildings are all built. Um, I think they've withdrawn their army. No, it's just sitting there. Okay, time to crush them. Let's go for a land battle. Get out of... Oh, they're raiding. Get out. They were, they were just raiding. Sitting there raiding. Where are you? I know I'm trespassing, but I'm, you, you're you're harboring an enemy enemy of mine. Right, let's crush them. This is a main army with some uh, auxiliaries who are going to be in the front line. These guys, because they're cheap. <laughs> My nice Roman unit's going to be in the rear. That's how they did it, and that's how I'm going to do it. The men of Italy don't. Okay, we're gonna wait because I don't want to attack in the rain and the fog. We had a horrible time of that last time. There we go. I like being able to see the Roman efforts were always deployed during a nice sunny day on a big open field. Uh, so we're gonna do the same. Okay, so we're gonna need to have some Hastati in the front line with them, I guess. So Hastati and Gaelic troops, but we're gonna actually split them up. So we're gonna have some Gaelic troops along throughout the Hestati like so so control 1, you guys want them to be like that there we go wait no, control 2, your second line because the first line is always skirmishers not many skirmishers in this army I have to admit that's okay I I prefer I actually think I'm going to switch over to um, uh, until I get archers, archers are good because they can fire over their head but I prefer using other units. Alright, let's get you into this line. So we've got some Principes in line 3. Not too strong of a line, but it's enough. General, let's get you right in the middle. And control 5, let's get the cavalry on the left. He's quite nice cavalry here as well, a la auxiliaries. Right, so we're attacking them, are they going to move? No, that's good. Don't want them to move. So let's get these guys up to here. Let's out. Let's get the line nicely moved up to here. And to here. You to here. And number five. Let's get you to come up to about here. There we go. And we'll speed it up. Get to there. Let them rest. No need to rush this. Okay, so what have they got? Quite a nice looking army. Uh, mainly spears. Uh, got some swordsmen, cavalry on the right, on on their right anyway, but none on their left. That's good. We can match them with our cavalry. Um, we only have a little bit more than they do, because that's quite a large unit of cavalry they have. But obviously our infantry is just like a thousand times better than theirs. So much better. Look at these guys. They're just. Is Hastati? Then we've got the Principes. Starting to look a wee bit more like actual Roman units. Don't worry, it's not going to be too much longer until we can start using actual Roman units in our armies. <laughs> By actual Roman units, I'm meaning kind of like the Marius reforms. Okay. These rest is cool. They're eager and fresh. How, okay, skirmishers only have to go. A wee bit further forward, so probably that's kind of most of that distance. So probably about here. Let's go ahead and put it on pause, and we'll get them all to move at the same time at this point. So let's get you to line up opposite them. 
you guys line up opposite them. Oop. You guys line up in the middle. General, get in there. We're actually going to get you in the center. Roughly, and then the cavalry. Let's get you coming over here. Right, let me unpause it. And we'll start rushing forward. wonder what that would look like to them. Skirmishers right in the middle. They may outnumber us, but we have the spirit of of France. Vive la Revolution. Yes, um except I'm Rome. Oh, cool. Massive reforming of lines. Of course. <sighs> they're gonna shift down the hill. Probably it looks like they're trying to run away from my cavalry, so let's bring them down to that copse of trees. I guess we should probably reform our skirmishers to like here. Get the second line here. Very frustrating. Man up. They're just running away from me. However, my skirmishers are starting to fire. So hopefully that's going to force them to come forward. Are you going to come forward? Or are you just going to stand there and... Stay out of range. I mean, these guys are probably going to... Oh, hello. That's nice. Their general is... It's weird, it's, it's got some Hellenic influences here. But they are taking some... S Look at that, they're getting quite bloody. Quite a lot of damage being taken by my slingers chucking at them. Do you see anything? Here we go. So they're taking damage, but not necessarily... Oh, they've lost one guy. I wouldn't just charge my cavalry with your general, because that's just stupid. Because I'm just going to keep moving my, my cavalry away from you. Yeah. I don't get. I don't get what that does. <laughs> okay, we're gonna draw their cavalry away. Draw them away. Oh, far enough away that they won't interrupt the fight. And then we're going to charge into their rear. While my center just does its Roman thing of just being a massive block. Right, that's far enough. Turn and engage. Hope we're gonna win that one. Yeah, you're gonna win. Cool. How about over here? How's this doing? Line seems to be holding quite nicely. Where's my hero? Let's chuck him into the fray. Get right into there. And let's inspire our units. I guess we can just... We don't really need to put the reserves in quite yet. Lost some skirmishers there, but it's fine. Let us reform the skirmishers. I'm actually going to bring them down so they're down here. No, we need to get you to run. So let's run. So we've destroyed their cavalry. That's good. Let's bring our cavalry back. Not being able to chase them out. We killed most of them. Haven't lost too many ourselves. So obviously their forces are weighted on my right. That's fair enough. Let's go ahead and bring my general down here though so we can support them. We should be able to mop these guys up quite nicely. So let's go ahead and bring some skirmishers, sort of skirmishers, some of our auxiliaries, auxiliaries around and we can smack into the rear here. And I'm going to bring some principes over to engage their general. We can use our cavalry to finish them off. Right, charge, kill. I'm glad I did this because they're bringing him back over. Let's take you through there. Let's bring them closer. Right, how's my skirmishers doing? You're good. Let's bring you over here so you can start hitting these guys in the rear. General. Don't need to do much here. We're going to win. 
But I think what I'm going to do is actually get these guys to line up here and just bulk up the line. Okay, let's get these guys to engage here. But we can get them to chuck their spears like here, I guess. There we go. Smack, smack, smack. Some nice damage there. Can't do that anymore. Let's take if we take them out of formation. I think they chuck their spears at will, possibly. Let's get them into formation again. Five, four, three, two, one, and we can do it again. They're coming forward. So let's have a look at this. They're kind of edging forward. Ho, ho. And yet yeah, those those spears are just going to wreck them. One more volley. That general unit is just going to get slaughtered. What on earth do you think you're doing? Alright, let's go ahead and rally. Alright, one. Here we go. Now let's chuck again. Here we go. Fuck, 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 fuck. So we've, we're just destroying this general, general unit completely and utterly. Now it's time to make the cavalry around and we can smack them in the rear. So they're reforming, getting ready to face a nice pink face charge. So this is the Romans coming in. I like this is quite a clean fight. Whereas this always is a lot larger and a lot more messy. Obviously we're gonna win, there's just nothing they can do. Our men are just so much better. Um I don't want to use any other things at the moment, so just no point. Let's go ahead and kill our general. Nope, this reform, so we're actually completely at the rear. So who's going to win this? They're a lot more condensed than we are in this formation. But it's swords against spears. Bye-bye. Smack, smack, smack. Completely disrupted the formation. They should be losing. Yep. Take them out. Slaughter them. Alright, you, you guys can slaughter the infantry as they try to run. Don't want any of them going to be left. Being left, sorry. So let's get these guys to charge in from the rear. I guess let's push these guys up. These guys engaging, yep. Just... Okay, so these guys have used their ammunition, I think. Nope, who's used their ammunition? I don't know. None of my skirmishers. Let's bring them up closer. Okay. I think we're gonna win this. Pretty safe on a on a win. Most of these guys are attacking a nice frontal fight between us and this army. We should I think this is one of their the two remaining field forces. Let's take out their skirmishers. Oh, they're charging us. Oh, hello. Yeah, they've actually... Oh! Spear unit there somewhere. Oh, they charged us with spear units. That's not fair. Let's go ahead and use our cavalry to help these guys out. Don't want our skirmishers to die. Get in there. Let's inspire our skirmishers for the hell of it. Right, we're crushing this side nicely between all of us. All of these forces here. They're about to rout and they've routed, so we've won the left flank. And it appears we've won on this flank as well, so let's go ahead and bring these troops down this way. And we've crushed the guys who were fretting to turn the flank there. So let's bring the skirmishers back here, the cavalry, I guess we can just get them to get ready to charge into the rear over here, let's actually just get them to charge into the rear over there, I have the skirmishers joining them, just this this, this flank here is just going to full scale charge, this is actually what the Romans did, they have their velites and their skirmishers, they actually ran with the cavalry on the flanks and charged with them, so it was infantry and cavalry kind of running together. Um, 
which was quite interesting. It's quite a nice tactic they did. It meant they could outflank with large, large amounts of forces. Alright, let's get you guys here. And then, charging. So we should start to see the right flank also being broken. Obviously I'm going to try and kill as many as I possibly can. So I don't have to face them again. There we go. Alright, they're starting to rout. That's good. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Charge them all. Kill them all. Now, kill them all. Speed up. And that's their army broken. We win. We win nicely. We didn't lose too many troops. Some of our skirmishers took some hits. But uh, our infantry didn't lose too many. The men are wavering. Why would they be wavering? Actually, you get you guys. We're not going to have you firing at will. It'd be funny if they routed. <laughs> oh, our skirmishers are routing. Why are they routing? That's funny. They're losing men. Why are they losing men? Why would they be losing men? Routing troops still have a chance to fight? Is that a thing? Are routing troops still dangerous? Did my skirmishers just kind of like lose? Or were they being hit by friendly fire? Okay, I'm losing men here, so I don't really want to keep going. So I'm going to quit the battle. I don't know what was going on there. Oh, I missed the animation. Never mind, we killed them all. So let's go ahead and enslave them. Another easy victory. The army's destroyed. Uh, no point in. I suppose we can. Let's go ahead and move up to here. We'll just go through the the uh, Arvernese territory because we don't really care about them. Right. In that case, not much to do. Trait gained. Enemy retreats. Yep. Yeah, cool. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.